Margaret in Colorado says, my friend and financial advisor met and inform- met with me and informed me she and all the other advisors are being mandated to get a fiduciary license. Hallelujah. Because of this changeover, they will be going from charging fees to a cost of 1% of my conservative funds. I have three accounts with them, an IRA with a spouse benefit of around 100, and that's around 100,000, a Roth IRA, um, about 100,000, and a transfer on death at $126,000. I read your article on Clark.com titled, Should You Manage Your Own Portfolio? And it indicates that 1% is not outrageous. So do I stay with them or should I switch to one of your three favorites? And if so, which one? I'll be paying double what I was paying, approximately $1,500 in fees versus $3,000 if I'm charged 1%. Please help. All right. So how is it that you'll end up saving money paying more fees. Because when you're with a a full commission stock brokerage, which this one historically has been, and now they're becoming a fiduciary relationship with you, they have historically put you in high cost funds and high cost investments because that made them the most money. Now as a fiduciary relationship, their duty is to put you in things that have extremely low costs. The odds are what you'll save in commissions and ongoing embedded expense ratios in funds will be so much cheaper that you should end up with much more money down the road, even paying higher fees for advice than you were paying prior in what appeared to be direct commissions. Because what you're not seeing is all the embedded expenses in the things you're in. Now, the alternative, if you go to uh, Schwab or Vanguard, this is one that I'd say those two rather than Fidelity because of the advice angle you want, you will pay lower fees significantly and you'll be in a fiduciary relationship. Uh, You would be eligible at Vanguard for Vanguard's PAS, Personal Advisory Service, and your fees would be 0.30 of a percent. And you'd be getting the advice and guidance and placement and funds. So it would potentially be a much cheaper choice for you. Your accounts are larger than what I would recommend for Schwab's intelligent portfolios, but you could look at the other advice offerings from Schwab. I would say in your case, if you're looking at the alternative, it would likely be Vanguard would be the best move for you. And what is a transfer on death account? Is that like some kind of insurance thing? It, no, it's where the money, it, it's like, um, uh, let's say uh, you own an account and you decide at time of you of your death that I'm going to be the beneficiary and it becomes my account. Right. So it's just like probably just money that has I, been I, saved. I've never heard it referred to as transfer on death. I've always heard of it as beneficiary designation. Okay. 